Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of my Outer Ring saga and today I'm going to discuss the latest tech demo which includes a solo dungeon as well as a new planet. But before that, I want to highlight an extremely exciting piece of news. Outer Ring is going to be launched on CDFI as well as three launchpads of the Bluezilla group. In the new tech demo you spawn on Dextool's mining station where you find the instance portal for the Archmage Relic dungeon. Apart from the lush environment with roaming creatures, you will find a trial of dexterity where you'll have to jump across platforms while also avoiding the patrolling insects. Obviously, you also have the option of neutralizing them with firepower. The reason why you have to pay attention is because if they bump into you, you might fall into an acidic swamp which instantly kills you. Once again I found the interactions extremely satisfying and I had a lot of fun destroying those insects. As a new addition, the game now features subjective indicators so it was easier for me to navigate around and allowed me to find two particularly interesting buildings in the main city. The Bluezilla building which features 12 floors each dedicated to one of their launch pads and the Fish Dao building which is built as an aquarium and once you step inside you automatically put on diving gear. Sound effects follow the same theme of the game as if they depict a toy world with almost a pixel-like feel to each interaction. As you manage to pass the platforms, you reach a gate which requires you to interact with a couple of crystals, but since one of them was unreachable, the only logical way was to shoot some rounds at it. The next section contains a different type of enemy NPCs which actively chase you down and attack you. Their damage is undertuned, but I believe it was intentional as the current iteration is a tech demo. Once again, the open world aspect lives up to its name as you can target any enemy from afar even before you reach its aggro zone. Once you overcome your enemies, you'll encounter a crossroad made of shiny pebbles and a hover bike, which is extremely fun to ride. You'll have to go both ways in order to find the crystals needed further on and again interact with them in the same way as before. Once you go left, you will finally reach the endpoint, which is the Archmage Relic. This will become active once you shoot all the four crystals, marking the end of the dungeon, allowing you to return to the mining station. In order to find the final edition of this tech demo, you'll need to board your spaceship found at the landing pad and travel through outer space towards the Winter Sports Station. Here you'll find the music festival and multiple docking platforms. Once you go to your right, you'll find some snowboards that you can actually use. This instantly brought back memories from Tony Hawk skating games as I could slide on different rails and slopes and even do 180s and 360s. The Outer Ring team never ceases to amaze me with all their easter eggs and I strongly believe they are passionate gamers that wanted to create a game fun and suitable for everyone. The game will have its token generation event on the 3rd of March and it will be available on PancakeSwap. The final product should be released during the summer but I think the team will release more and more demos as time goes by. Let me know down in the comments which part of the tech demos was your favorite. And, as usual, if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!